Welcome everybody, this is day 51 of our uh, SS2 playthrough in Chapter 3. Uh, we may or may not play through Shady Motives today. I think we'll definitely run into Mr. Postman. I'm sure he's going to chase us down as soon as we fast travel somewhere. But we're going to keep working on Chapter 3. So I think the next thing I need to do is capture a gunner outpost. But I would not be shocked if I am just horribly short on soldiers. Uh, because we have been capturing, we captured a whole lot of territories the last time we played, I believe, which was ages ago, like over a month now, thanks to swapping back and forth between this playthrough and the Xbox playthrough. And as always, I got to check and remember what this character is. So I think this is this is my classic character, like my stealth, the stealth archer build, effectively. Um, yep. Okay. Cool. And that makes that easy, which means I just run around and shotgun people, nice and easy. And then occasionally I will actually use my stealth. State of War, capture a gunner outpost. Uh, I think what I'll do, because it's pretty close to it, it should be in range. I'm going to go try and run the... So we could do the binoculars, but I'm actually going to check right from Spectacle. Because then when we do it with that, we'll see the warrior count, so we can see where we're at. Oh, there's Mr. Postman. We did fix that bug if you are getting perpetual Mr. Postman's. Um, we finally added a, a check to make sure that you didn't already have the all tape. Although it is kind of on story for him to uh, just oh, keep coming back to you. There you. Oh, did I break oh, him? Wonderful. There he is. There you are. I've been looking all over the Commonwealth for you. Not again. <laughs> oh, another robot. Oh? Already had enough of dealing with robots. Here you go. Special delivery. Just for you. It's a holotape. Someone needs your assistance with something that only you can help with. Mm. Why me? To be perfectly honest, I don't think it really matters who I give the holotape to. Providing you can fire a gun, follow simple instructions, and hold a halfway coherent thought, I reckon you're just as good as anyone else. Of course, I'd never openly voice such an opinion. <laughs> that would just be disrespectful. <laughs> a holotape? What's on it? Ah, yes. That is the question, isn't it? Sadly, I lack the appropriate hardware to read the tape. So, I have no idea. Oh, but hold the phone. That device you have there. A hip boy is it? Oh, I saw Nightbot is, is still uh, spamming for donations. That's fine. We can leave it there for a little while. The, the charity's still going until the end of the month, actually. How about that? Thanks. I guess. You're more than welcome. Just make sure you listen to the tape as soon as you can. It's very important. Now you'll have to excuse. Me. Now you have to excuse me. Oh, I thought I fixed that. Okay, let's see here. So back on task. Let's go find ourselves a war planner's desk. If we happen to be next near Angelo's thing or if I run out of stuff to do because we're waiting on more recruits, I, I can, I can, uh, say I had half I can go do uh, Shady Motives. But much more fun, I think, to go watch uh, Gophers play through. All right, so we can choose between... All right, so these different things, basically we have establish outpost, which would mean wherever we assault, we're gonna turn it into, a, we're gonna turn that settlement into an outpost. Liberate settlement means attack a settlement and then restore it to whatever it was before it got captured. So liberate settlement is a good thing to do against the gunners if you're not sure what you wanna do with that or if you just wanna turn it back into a normal settlement. Uh, make vassal it will turn it into a vassal. So basically it'll capture all the civilians and make them, um, support your army by giving them resources, giving them supplies. Um, make vassal, it doesn't have, to, we, we headcanon it and we explain it, vassalization, we complain, where we explain it in game as like, um, a vassal doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing. It obviously is with the raiders in Nuka World, but it also could just mean they're saying, you know what, we're gonna throw you all of our, uh, we're gonna throw you support in, all, in form of all of our military supplies. You protect us from the villains. Uh, so it doesn't necessarily automatically mean a bad thing. Uh, in the case of Jamaica Plain, I think I'm gonna try Make Vassal. We, we might as well try one. We just researched it recently. So we're gonna go ahead and do Jamaica Plain. I'm just gonna let it send default the default set of troops. I'm happy with whatever I got. Uh, then subdue Jamaica Plain. All right. Now, hopefully, I don't piss off all my settlers with that. Hopefully, it doesn't make me attack my settlers. It might. It might be that um, we, we've noticed there are quite a few 
weird issues with uh, the assault mechanics. I'm gonna need to put another one right here. All right, let's see if we can find our squad. And who is triggering the landmines? Hopefully not my people. Uh, there goes the controller. Maybe I can get to a sniper direction up here. Oh no. Instead, I started the ghoul fights. I wonder if that was all the, the fire I heard was the NPCs uh, fighting me. Oh yeah, look, it put me to war put me at odds with the settlers. Oh, that's a bummer. Sorry, settlers. You've joined the gunners now. I can tell. If I was, if I wanted to be a good person, I could just abandon this assault by letting 24 hours pass, but we're gonna just murder our settlers. You join with the gunners, you get what's coming to you. All right, now this settler is on our side. I don't know what's going on, but I accept. And that uh, that floating light bulb, that means that this settlement is probably upgraded since I've been here. So it's, uh, that happens from the workshop framework. Oh god. So we're gonna just keep spawning in there? All right, we'll take that. So we have we have code in place to make sure the uh, NPCs don't get stuck permanently, like underground or something, just because that's, because it's a Bethesda nav mesh thing. And uh, occasionally just Teleports them all to like the start of the assault. He's in this little building where we can just murder a whole bunch. I think his bullets are hitting the corpse of the uh Oh no they're not. He's on the other side of that wall, that's why. Where's most of our squad at? Should have been sent at least a dozen people. Lock and load. Oh hey, there we go. That's what you want. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, my controller's frozen. Right in combat. Not good. And here's all these those traitor settlers. Right. Oh, we missed somebody. Holy cow, look at them spoils. Oh, that's right. The spo so when you take over a settlement that has a lot of stuff in it, the spoils are all of the stuff that was at that settlement. So it looks way more impressive. Yeah, the death six, I think it ended up being that those, those probably were my soldiers that I murdered. <laughs> Uh, but it gave me S tier still somehow. The uh, the algorithm for calculating your rating is a is a mysterious mistress. Okay, let's listen to that holotape just to because I would like to have the uh, objective in case we stumble upon it. Mr. Postman, where you at? Greetings, Wastelander. If you're hearing this. You must be the curious type. Or desperate. Or the kind of blindly follow orders just because a robot told you to. Either way, you're the exact sort of person I'm looking for. It is so and surreal that we've got Wes Johnson voicing the character in this mod. Of a it's so crazy. For you. Ah, I ask of we human trust in trust. Me as smart as you. Enough. This I, I, isn't your moment. I, I'm wait sorry, till I the end. No, I've I had stabs. Caps. Yeah. The first part of the Oh, I see we have a bug in the holotape. Usually, when that happens, when you hear the cascading <laughs> audio like that, when somebody uh, forgot to cut. A line or did what I talked about earlier where it was like uh, extracted the entire audio file instead of just uh, the part they selected. Enough! Oh, why must you always interrupt when I'm trying to focus on something? My, uh, my apologies. There'll be uh, no crush. You have my assurance. My turn to talk. No, <laughs> put it down. You gotta break it. Red rocket north of Fort Hagen. Okay, way over there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Help groups to gain alliance and defeat the gunners permanently. Okay, so that is. I think we've already done everything. So we just gotta wait for. Um, we should start getting calls that we've got people waiting to meet meet up with us. All right, let's see. Have we done your quest yet? Where are you going? Where is he going? Come back. Why is he running away? 
He's like full on sprinting in terror. Come back, I've got to tell you about our Lord and Cra Savior, King Crab. What is he doing? I kind of want to follow him and see where he's going. Oh, I know what it is. It's they think that there's still a battle going on at that location. So they're all they're all sprinting for the hills. Look at all those supplies. I've got 162,000 uh, scrap. All right, so I was gonna see. I was gonna upgrade a uh, military room here. Oop, I need to go to facilities. Although I think we have auto we have autom we must have automation turned on. There's so much going on here that I am not triggering. Let's see if we can trigger. Oh, uh, we need them to clean the uh, basement area or the hangar area. So okay, we're not gonna mess with that. I like the automation. Installed it for a reason. So let's go talk to our envoy. How's it going, Jack? Hey, Cliff. Oh, hello. Ad victorium, Sentinel. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? The Brotherhood would like to extend our support to you and your cause. We believe it's time for us to formally work together, as allies. It's clear to us, the Gunners need to be defeated as swiftly as possible. This war mustn't be allowed to end in their favor. Together, we'll make them pay for their crimes. I need some details here. We should pool our resources to achieve our common goal. Elder Maxon speaks true. If you agree to an alliance, the Brotherhood will provide you and your people with additional troops, resources, and intel. Together, we can secure the Commonwealth. How can I continue helping the Brotherhood of Steel? All we'd require is that you lead your people in a way that does not conflict with the Brotherhood or our interests. That is all. I'm honored, Elder. It is with great pride. We call you a true ally of the Brotherhood. We'll start diverting supplies from Boston Airport right away. You can also expect a steady supply of soldiers to help assist you and your people. Myself or Elder Maxon will be at your disposal to offer guidance and the resources of the Brotherhood. Ad victorium. Sentinel. Uh, yeah, send in the next. Let's keep them rolling. Oh, Brotherhood units. I've been looking forward to seeing what the GNN building looked like inside. And it's amazing. I assume all these recent improvements are down to you. I didn't do it alone. Sorry, of course, you have a great team working for you here. I had the pleasure of meeting a few of them earlier. I'm here because I think that we should be making more of an effort to work together. So, I'm hoping we can discuss how best to achieve that. And don't worry, Jared already advised me against wasting your time drafting a formal contract. I couldn't agree more. Okay. You were vital in making the CPD a finer police force than I could have ever hoped. And in doing so, we became united by a mutual nemesis. The Gunners. Between us, we've done so much to weaken the grip those thugs have on the Commonwealth. But there is so much left to do before we can hope to bring back order and civilization. As such, I'd like to see our people and resources working alongside yours to make that happen. While we don't exactly train our people to fight battles, they're especially capable when it comes to security and resolving domestic incidents. And most importantly, now that your numbers are growing, I honestly think it would help if your people had confidence that law and order are prevailing. Isn't there anything else you can offer? <laughs> well, you won't be surprised to hear that many of our cases have been missing persons. We've developed a useful network of contacts. If I do say so myself, we're pretty good at locating people. So, if you'd like, we can recover any of your personnel that go absent without leave. Would that help? All right. I'd welcome the help. Brilliant. I was hoping I'd get to work with you and your team. I'll start by visiting your department heads, and we can begin redeploying some of our resources and personnel. Then, I'll be available if we need to coordinate anything, or if I can advise you at all. Okay, I guess we'll talk later. Bye for now. Report to the main entrance. Yeah, keep them coming. Uh, need to figure out how to, when you answer yes to that, to have the unlock I'm having delay. I don't know why that happens like that. Even with everything else you've accomplished, I can barely believe what I'm seeing. I'm glad you're impressed. You've done nothing but impress since we've met. 
I might sound like a broken record, but you are an inspiration and a force to be reckoned with. It does mean that the Nightingales have to reevaluate our place in this new Commonwealth as well. I have a feeling this will be a good thing, though. These invading gunners, they don't hold to any rules of engagement. Even raiders don't attack us. But since this conflict started, we've had to rely on your people for protection. With us settled into the hospital and Cassandra working with you here in HQ, I'd like to make this partnership official. Let everyone know we're on the same team, so to speak. We'll take care of the Commonwealth together. I'm really beginning to believe that. I can't wait to see what happens next. You and your people are always welcome to our hospital to rest and resupply. And if you need any medics on the field, don't hesitate to ask. And if there's anything you ever need our voice on, I'll be here to advise. I won't take any more of your time. Thanks for seeing me. And if you're ever around the hospital, come say hi. Oh man, we got the whole whole squad coming in here. Oh, that's a renovation job. Yeah, it wasn't easy. You're probably wondering why I'm here. Well, I, I was all set to leave the Commonwealth behind. Told myself it was time to start fresh. But if I'm being honest, really, I was just running away. Why is that? You've just done the impossible. You've taken the plaza. And quite possibly just pissed off the gunners more than anyone else ever had. But I knew that wouldn't be the end of it. The gunners would retaliate. I didn't want to tug it on my back for having helped you. So I left. Chicken. <laughs> Listen, but my mom didn't raise a coward. Well, she did. Uh, but that wasn't her fault. Point is, I've come back. And this time, I plan to stick around. Uh, that is, if you'd still like me to work for you. <laughs> Not sure I trust you. Uh... Depends on the work. If you need someone to gather information or carry out covert operations, I'm your man. It's what I did for Algernon, and I can do it for you, too. Glad to have you with me. All right. Glad to be here. Guess I'll go find a cozy spot to call my own. Adios for now. See you later, Chief. All right. Who else do we have left? I'm trying to remember who else we allied with. Sonically, he stole your nomenclature for that. <laughs> I mean, technically, if he stole it from me, then I technically stole it from EA, so... Ugh, that's <laughs> dangerous business. I don't want to play that game. Uh, Sato 404, I've made a little mod for myself that makes MM Alliance available after old guns. Makes more sense to me. All right, that's fair. Yeah, there's, I mean, like, I'm, I'm happy to see people mod the mod. We try and make that possible as much as we can. Oh, yeah, Sickle. <laughs> and he's got the new outfit. <laughs> Sickle likes human house. Human house big, full of blinking machines. <laughs> Good. I don't know if you guys have seen lately, Toomba Jamba has been going nuts releasing outfits. Um, so at the beginning of the year, he came to me and said like, hey, uh, I've got a ton of outfits I'm not using. Do you guys want to use some of them? And we've been working with him and slowly incorporating some of the outfits, but a lot of them we just didn't have a place for because most of our characters already have outfits. Um, and uh, and then I think he just didn't want his stuff to die on his hard drive, so he's just been slowly turning it into real mods and releasing it. But I guess he it's just as a hobby, he would just kit bash all the time and then share screenshots, but never actually release it. And he's been on a tear releasing it all lately, so he made this for us. Why did they let you in? Sickle, what speak? Important. You know gunmen, gun, gun Oz. They speak to Sickle's tribe, promise us power, meat, but only if we fight for them, only if we fight you, we kill the gunmen, smash them, you one of us, no fight, we protect, Sickle join you here, help fight gunmen, yes! You killed them just like that? Yes! Smash and crush! <laughs> Thank you. That's kind of you. Super mutant kindness is best kindness! Psycho go find room to sleep. Big house! Maybe big beds? 
<laughs> oh, that was the last one. We should get a, there it is, pop up. Super Mutant Units. Oh, I can't wait to go queue up a whole bunch of units. We're gonna have a mix of Brotherhoods, uh, CPD, Super Mutants, it's gonna be glorious. All right, speaking of um, our, our army, we need to change our colors. So, ENS is too extended. We have, we added some new flags. Let's look at our academy flag. Hey, look at that. Uh, but uh, but yeah, let's use our academy flag. But for now, as like a, a taster, we put in extended the um, a flag, like a pre-designed flag for each of the. Um, uh, yes, and change all flag, flags to match. So you automatically unlock whatever one matches the name you selected. And there's actually some really cool ones that um, many of you will never see. So if you chose during the faction name thing if you chose like brotherhood or institute or whatever uh cynical actually designed some custom logos that are gnn variants of the Call faction logo they're beautiful the all right let's go capture some more territories uh, but we need to find those territories so we are going to go let's run a military project here we don't we might have to get some more people in the military which we should have plenty of people i can send over oh we got a food and water problem here that was probably what i started to solve i would get i i think i know what was happening I was probably going in trying to figure out how do we get our food and water situation sorted so that we can actually run these things. So that explains what we were trying to do. Okay. So we have two options. Either we can get lucky, guessing, or we can manually scout ourselves, or we can solve our food and water situation and make use of that system. Okay, so manual scout or fix our food and water. I think I want to try and fix our settlements. I think that feels like the appropriate thing to do. Oh, County Caressing is doing awesome. Uh, Nordhagen Beach could use some more people. We don't have a ton of regular settlements, so I guess I could go claim and build up some more settlements. Oh, like Taffington. Taffington's not even in the network. Let's go fix that. That'll give us a whole bunch of people. There we go, and now we should be able to treat you. Yep, there we go. Get our caravan back online. Let's see if this, why is this not, I'm sure refreshing it. I might just be, I might be being impatient here. Refresh. 2013, I like the idea for Bard's College. I never thought the college got the recognition it deserved. Yeah, that was always one of the most disappointing factions to me. It was one of those ones where, um, when we were, when the, when the VC program first got like privately announced and I assembled the team to start working on something in Skyrim. I think that was one of my first suggestions of like, man, I always hated the way the Bard's College was. Because you go there and they give you a quest and they say, you're now an official member, and then that's it. And then the rest of it is just radiant quests. I was like, this sucks. This isn't, it made it seem like it was like the fifth faction and it's, it's not at all. Okay, so now this should connect to the network in a moment. The, uh, let's see if anybody else is sick we can heal up. Although we're going to need the, we need the, oh, we must have got it. It must have connected just there because otherwise we wouldn't have had a chem left for medical treatment. Alright, now normally I wouldn't sit, run around and do this, but because we're trying to solve our food and water problem, this is like the most efficient way to do it. And that's actually why we have that system in. I almost pulled, I almost didn't put that system in, the uh, the medical treatment, because one of the feedback pieces we were getting from testers is they felt like they had to. They had to run around and cure everybody, and then um, you know, it was just uh, explaining it over and over. Nope, you don't have to do it. They will heal eventually. It's just an optional system tuning the disease system was awful like it was so like the version you guys have now is so much less harsh than it was when we first launched with it it is and and then the alpha testing version was even more harsh so and i think we just unlocked an advanced water so i think we have enough room for two jobs so let's go ahead and build a couple more municipal plots and let's try and solve some problems but first i'm going to check and see if we already happen to have a hospital is this a hospital okay good yeah we already have a hospital Hospital built right in front of the door. Don't know whose who's decision that was. Probably mine. Oh, there it was. Yes! Got it. Okay. Um, and then we might as well just keep this dock going while we're up here. Alright, and then we want some little tiny floors here to make sure people can walk over here. Okay, what else do we need? We already have a hospital. I guess we can do power transfer. Just hook it into the hook it into both grids. Seems reasonable. Okay, now we need to power this place up a little bit. So I guess 
do we have we must have a municipal power pole because we do have a power plant here gotta figure out where it got stashed all right well one of the things we did we patched it at one point is if you build a second municipal power switch it just becomes the primary because it, it can be really irritating to remember where you put those things so that's what we're gonna do oh we still got why is this one? Oh, he's unhappy okay it's like, what, is he, what is he uh sick from i thought i cured everybody all right so we gotta figure out where our municipal power is so we can wire everybody up i guess i can just wire everything together because yeah, i think it must be on the grid because everything else is powered so let's just do that instead of trying to find it here. Yep, that seems to have done it. Okay, well I don't know where it is, but we are, have already got it wired up. We're clearly getting power in from the uh, from the network because we're up to 83 all of a sudden. I think we had like 10 earlier. All right, everybody cool here? Our meters are all looking pretty flush. All right, where else can we safely go? Starlight, I know. You know what? Starlight, I think, was one of those ones that had a whole bunch of sickness going on, and I think this place I have loaded up with power and water and such. Excuse me, or power and food, maybe? Yeah, I think I built a bunch of farms here. Okay, happiness on the decline. That's never good to see. Power 99. That, you know, it used to be that power 999 meant that something was wrong, but I think here we might actually have 999 power with all the uh, power plants we've built. Defense, that's our problem. That's why everyone's unhappy. Oh, we went hard on commercial here, too. 218,000 caps. That makes sense. Oh, this is showing our... Our resource production. I need our needs report. This is what I want. This will show us things like power. Produce 1098. Okay, so we really are producing over 999. That's funny. And I don't think so. There's actually an optional. There's an optional plugin. I I can't remember if it's on. You guys know if it is it on the workshop framework page or on the SS2 page. I can't remember where I stuck it. There's an optional plugin that will let you that will override the vanilla HUD, and it ups the max in the the top resources to four digits so it can display over 999 i don't have it installed on this computer i should get it installed on there all right so we just need to fix defense and then that will sort out our happiness issue probably our food issue too yourself and nothing to fear all right so yeah we've got a couple of sick people at least this we got one farmer one defense so we need to track down these sickies and get them get them back on their feet yeah. We should also check. Let's find our doctor's office and make sure they're not sick. We got a hospital here. It's operational. Good. She's just standing on that, dude. No respect. It's always fun. I love going back to the original SS1 shops. Those were my favorite ones to design. I had a lot of fun with those. Oh, no, he's in bed because he's incapacitated. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, I actually love when the AI packages work. That was really complicated to set up. I wish I could get the um, HQ AI packages working as well as, I, as the settler ones are. The HQ, the HQ ones have definitely improved ever since we discovered that engine bug with the interior nav meshes. Which I don't, I don't know if I have that... I don't know if I have that nav cut fix yeah. installed on this character. Or on this uh, computer. I must, because there's a lot of movement at my HQ. Because on Xbox, you get very little movement. I think we may have to kill off a shop. I think we're going to have to get ourselves another Marshall plot here. I think the, the other way we can do it, and this might be smarter, is to set up some uh, guards here. That actually might be smarter if I've got some. Because we're so close. Where's our nearest outpost? Because if I can just send some guards over here. Alright, Red Rocket is our nearest one. All right, let's go to Red Rocket. Let's send some. We'll send some guards over here. See if we can get that just nudged up to full, so we can get happiness on the rise. Because then a lot of upgrades will start triggering, and we'll be in much better shape. All right, you are gonna go guard settlement. Watch you on Starlight. Guard duty. Thank you. All right, settlement. Send you to Starlight. All right, let's go back to Starlight. All right, let's see if that took care of our defense needs. Ta-da! There we go. Wait, nope. That's still not enough. The meter just decided to... Oh, it's almost there. It's so close. Oh, because we just sent people to guard here. They need... Well, they're supposed... To, this is very odd. There's something wrong with the guard duty. This is not supposed to set them to live here. I'm fairly certain they're supposed to keep their home settlement, but maybe it's it's either... So I'm trying to figure out if it's bugged or if I just have set this mechanic up differently. 
I'm honestly not sure. But we'll just go ahead and make some more beds just to, to deal with it. Alright, you guys get to this lucky fella gets to live right next to the power plant with his, his friend over here. Alright, let's go ahead and make this a multi-person. That'll take care of two at least. Alright, but now it says we got food and water met. Which is a little bit short on defense. Where are our martial plots? This is level three. Okay, so our watchtower is still level 2, so once we get happiness to 80, which we're right on the cusp of, this thing will actually upgrade. Does this... I can't remember if these supply defense natively or if it's only shared defense. Let's check. Yeah, that's a little bit of defense, not much. But you know what? I guess that's that's something I could do also, is start setting up more watchtowers. Because that is one of the things it does, is to share surplus defense. I just really don't have a lot of surplus defense at wherever other settlements I have watchtowers on. That's another way we can go about it. That is one of the things that, like, Chapter 3, a lot of the new stuff we introduced with between the marketplace and the uh, defense sharing was just, like, different options so you can kind of approach your settlement network kind of however you want. Going into the Bethesda theme of let you guys choose how to, how to run your operation. Alright, yep, see it's getting built up. So our, our guards um, got transferred over here. Which is not how it's supposed to work. So they would get transferred if it were um, another outpost. That would make sense. But yeah, they're supposed to just kind of be like part of the original outpost that they're from still. And just providing uh, defense to here. So that's like a little bug in the system right now. The way guard duty is working. But we'll take advantage of it. We'll get some more martial plots out of the deal. We're gonna feed these guys anyway. Although I'm, I feel like this place is ridiculous. I guess it makes sense. This place would have to be ridiculous with the defense when we're putting all of our resources here. We have some mega farms, mega power plants. This place needs to be heavily fortified. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, it's Wyatt the Wanderer. Okay, he's wandering. He's just doing his thing. It's going. But I guess we have the. We could go build a watchtower to near. If we have a nearby settlement that's like close on defense, now we can build a watchtower there and finish it up. The settlement's uh, pretty stacked. I guess I just need to. Uh, I'll see. I built two. I guess we'll build. We'll use our last extra settler we didn't deserve to build a sanitation plot. It's gonna be just like a drop in the bucket, but it'll be it'll it'll be slightly less diseases. All right, look at that. Fully stacked settlement. We just need two more happiness. I kind of wanna, kind of wanna just like sleep through and trigger because I think happiness will go up by two points today, and then that'll trigger an upgrade on the watchtower over there. And I'm I'm sure there are a couple other buildings that are like on the cusp. Oh, like these guys are ready to pop. They were just waiting for defense, which we have now. Yeah, I think a I think a quick past 24 hours will be worth it. All right, happiness did not tick up, but that could just be a matter of. Uh, no, oh, there it goes. 82. All right, we should start seeing some upgrades here in a moment. Yep, upgrade available. Did I turn off automatic Protect upgrades here and just forgot about it? And nothing to fear. Oh, I see a sick person. Let's get him. Of course, it's our doctor. I'm actually curious how um, our medical department's doing back at HQ as far as research and diseases and stuff. That was one of the things I was most excited to have automated because that's not a very particularly compelling system uh, to engage with in the sense of like actually picking the options. Like it's, I like the idea of it still is like, oh, it's cool to, as you invest more resources, you see diseases start to go away, but like actually picking them, it's not really interesting. Just kind of want to see them all get researched. I actually wanted to work on chapter three today. And then I got sidetracked into like, oh yeah, one of the things we were trying to do in this playthrough was run some scouting missions, but I was short food and water. So then it turned into like, uh, oh, we're just gonna play some settlements and fix our settlements up. Go figure, the mod sim settlements has settlement gameplay in it. What else should we do here? Let's see, happiness on the rise, that's good. Something that I don't engage with enough, and I should, is probably um, building uh, training plots. <clears throat> Uh, I believe it's intelligence that trains for power, so I should build some intelligence training here. Just as like a final flourish before I head off. Do we have... Oh, they just haven't updated. I was like, do we get more sicknesses over there? They just... The icons just haven't updated. I probably need to refresh them. Let's get a couple of uh, intelligence training plots in here. We have a bookstore and two... Uh, 
<laughs> two intelligence training building plans right next to each other. I'm gonna make these uh, power plant operators geniuses. All right, we've got a couple of libraries. I think what this I think this is the one that you get from uh, doing Charles Baker's quest. I'm not mistaken. Okay, there we go. Doesn't seem to be incapacitated anymore. Food 94. There we go. Oh, and then drop down 74 again. All right, we're gonna save that. And let's pop over. I want to check out on Abernathy. I think that's where I started building a lot of water. Okay, so happiness is a problem. Defense is a problem. Everything's a problem. The, the power actually... Let's see, municipal power grid. Still showing nothing. That might just meet, need a minute to update. So we'll give that some space. Let's see here. Alright, what can we solve easiest? Alright, we're going to start by changing you to something for happiness. Let's get that over that hump there. Let's switch this to relax relaxation. Wow, this house is a mess. Look at that. <laughs> they don't have power. They want defense. They're unhappy. They're sick. This guy's ready to abandon my town. Well, we know, oh, now the power's in green up there instead of red, which is interesting. Even though we can see that this guy clearly is not getting power. So this might, this plot might be screwed up. That is a thing that can happen. You stay, you're not, you don't have enough power. Let's try just to imagine this. All right, I'm not sure why this isn't importing any more power. All right, sanitation, we don't need. Do we have a hospital anywhere? Okay, let's go resolve that. We'll take that sanitation plot, convert it into a little mini hospital over here. And we just gotta find somebody to work it. What are you up to, buddy? What's your job? Carabineer, okay, yeah, you need to keep that job. We cannot afford to lose that. It feels like there's no one actually living here. How many people do I have? It says I have 17 people. I feel like I can't, I don't see anyone. Where are they all hiding? Everybody's sick in their beds, probably. Oh yeah, four, four treatment needed. Or chems needed. Get up, we need your help. Going from house to house, waking everybody up with a needle. <laughs> Oh, you know what we could do here? We could build a watchtower and hook us into the defense network since we have all that surplus at Starlight now. That'd be smart. That might solve our defense needs. Uh, let's see here. You're still, I'm gonna refresh this. I think this thing's a liar. Oh, and actually we should check on this. I should see if I have high tech um, Agricultural unlocked because we could turn this thing into high tech. That'd be awesome. All right, I think we might get rid of this guy since it seems bugged. Yeah, I think we're gonna switch this out for a watchtower. So let's scrap you. I don't know what's going on with it, but it's not getting power, and I don't know if it's the plot or if it's we're short on power. Uncertain which. So we're gonna just take a guess that it's the plot, and this area right here looks good for another agricultural plot so I'm going to leave that area alone even though it would be appropriate size and we'll stick the watchtower over here I guess. Look at all these sick people up here. This is just a sick tower. Alright. Oh look at that something's building. I don't know what's happening here. Something's upgrading. That's a good sign. Okay there we go. Finally that watchtower build. I don't know why that took so long. Okay, there we go. Defense, look at that. Shot up to 138. That might have been just because of this upgrade, though, not because of the watchtower. Let's try... Exiting workshop mode here. 235. There we go. Finally hit the, the watchtower network update. Finally triggered. So our meter should fill up in just a moment here. And that should open up the door for a lot of upgrades here. Which will then cause its own cascade of failures that we get to deal with. I think uh, Abernathy's gonna be our last one for the night because I actually have to do some merges for the team this evening. All right, let's start testing these guys. Let's see, water. Should say upgrade available now, in theory. Upgrade available, let's do it. How are our supplies doing? Oh, we're doing great. Rare materials are the only one we're remotely low on. I mean, these guys are on, oh, we need to uh, get happiness up. That makes sense. Let's see, this guy should be ready to pop. I'm really curious how close we're going to be to, because uh, there, there's also the ch there's always a chance that like the my HQ network connection needs to be refreshed. And I don't think we have a tool for that in yet, to where the the shortage we're having of food and water at HQ may be a false one. All right, 
and you're still saying you're out of power, which I don't like. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna scrap all of these. Just making sure that we actually have everything wired together. And that we don't have two separate grids going on here, which could happen. I wanna wire into where I know everything is getting power. Let's see, are you guys getting power over here? Yeah. Let's bring this over here so we can get rid of you. Uh, we might need that actually. Oh, wait, let's see here. How about up here? Okay, you got power now. Okay, did we just solve it? We did! Alright, there we go. Fixed our grid. Okay, so it was just this little daisy chain mess isn't connected to anything live, or one of the wires is broken or something. I don't know. Let's see if that fixes you. Hey, water went up to 116. There we go. Now you're powered. And your power, there we go, we solved it. So somewhere along here, one of these wires is just not working correctly. And now you're not powered? Okay, well let's fix you too. We are just gonna nuke all of these wires because you got a mess going on here. All right, everybody's got power here. This thing's got power. How about in here? You guys can use some power, okay. Oh, look at all those green meters over there. Looking beautiful. Happiness on the rise. Okay, this thing doesn't look like it's connected to anything. Let's fix that. That, I think, will connect this guy. Yep. What about... No, dog meat doesn't need power. Oh, and that immediately started that thing upgrading. How about this? This guy's good. Let's check the roof. This thing's got power. Cool. Everybody's getting power now. This guy's incapacitated. All right, let's find him. You know, I think one of the one of the um, unspoken reasons that I play a lot of Fallout 4 and play a lot of some settlements is a reminder that one day I need need to break free of this rickety old engine <laughs> make my own thing so they when we have like broken power code we can just work on it and hopefully by then we will have more than just me as a programmer I shouldn't say that we have other we have other coders as well now who help out just playing the same old games modern games don't cut anymore yeah, that stat that I've heard Tad Howard cited a bunch of times about, like, was some insane stat, like 60% of game hours are put into games that are six years old or older. Like, that most people are just not interested in what most new games have to offer, which is pretty wild. And I wonder, I wonder what that actually, what that stat actually means. If it's just like, me, uh, to me it, it kind of means, it doesn't necessarily mean that new games are worse. I think... It might mean that newer games are failing to capture the next generation. Like, it's like they're not... So then the, those of us who are... Who game a lot uh, are sticking with the games. Our favorite games from before game companies started trying to, like, capture... Uh, whoever, whatever, the, I don't know the generation names. Whatever the generation their target audience, they think their target audience is now. Something like that. Oh man, those those meters on the left just are so satisfying to fill. That may be the best part of all of Sim Settlements to me. Like the, I love the story. I love our new mechanics, but man, there's just something so satisfying about filling up all those bars over there. Fortnite and Minecraft, all the youngins play that, and that's old. They do keep Fortnite super fresh though. Those seasons and stuff they got, like the amount, like the isn't Fallout their current season, the the crossover that they have. Okay, I think Abernathy's looking pretty good now. All right, so I think I think we're gonna wrap up here for the night. I did not expect to get so deep into settlement management, but man, is it satisfying to do so. All right, let's do a save here. All right, and now before I end the stream, oops. We are going to go over to HQ, and I might actually do this Envoy too, because I'm really curious who the Envoy is, but I want to see if our food and water situation has been solved. Um, right, let's go check out the Envoy, and then I really want to check out the food. Well, let's do the food and water first before I forget. I could see just doing the Envoy and then ending the stream and forgetting why I can't. Yeah, see, it still shows food and water short. 
We need 47 surplus. I need to I need like a report to test and see what's going on here. I'm gonna check my hollow tape. I don't think I can check anything from here though. I think I need to do it from a terminal. But I I feel like I'm gonna need to like do some sort of command dump because we have so much we, we should have so much surplus now okay there we go got my note down or stuff we have to do for this playthrough hey ah my child on behalf of my flock i come to you with the most joyous news the current gunner threat cannot be ignored and we see it as our sacred responsibility to aid the commonwealth's most valiant protector this is of course if you bid our help welcome How are things going? Concord is thriving, in no small part due to your patronage. So many of the local residents sing your praises. It's gotten to the point I've needed to host several... He doesn't go back to Concord? Oops. ...on the danger of worshipping false idols. That means we probably have wonder. him set up with an AI Concord's package that's just a um, local, like a sandbox near wherever he is. So then when he gets brought here, he just keeps sandboxing wherever he is. you require guidance, I'd be more than happy to make myself available. May the Lord smile on us and our future endeavors. Okay. Okay. So we are going to call it there. Thank you guys all for joining me tonight. I will catch you all uh actually let me hold on let's do this resave now that we did the envoy there we go yeah catch you guys all next week have a good night